Hey guys, Roblox 2025 here, and today I'll be reviewing the Brick Arms World War II Weapons Pack Version 3. So this retails around $14 and contains up to 24 Brick Arms elements. So I haven't done a Brick Arms review in a long time. So to change that, I'm going to do this review. So that's pretty much it. So here's the back of the packaging with all the weapons you see here. So first up is the Americans. So you get your M1 pot helmet, your M1911 pistol, your Thompson submachine gun, your M1 carbine, and your M1 grand. Not much to say other than for some reason the Thompson submachine gun doesn't appear in the packaging. Which you can see right here. See there's no uh, Thompson machine gun. I mean it could be due to like... Uh, due to like space constraints or something like that, but I'm not sure. So other than the additional Thompson machine gun, this is the only nation which their weapons remain unchanged from the version 2 weapons pack. Next up is the British. So you have your Brody helmet, your stand up machine gun, and the Lee Enfield. And last but not least, the new Webley revolver. So, there are some changes from the version 2 as well as some additions. So, the first part is that the Lee Enfield replaces uh, the brand sub machine gun. I mean, sorry, I mean machine gun. Which I don't really mind because I really do need as much uh, Lee Enfield without the bayonets for my World War 1 kit. As well as the additional uh, uh, Webley revolver, which. Uh, which I also need for my World War 1 kit. I mean, sorry, World War 1 mock, I mean. So that's pretty much it for the British. Then you have the Soviets. So you get your SSH-40, uh, the Moisin Naga, the T-33 pistol, and the PP PPSH submachine gun. So there's some changes from the version 2, albeit minor. So the first thing is that the... T-33 is uh, is black instead of like silver from the version 2 and the Moisin Naga has like a scope I, I mean sorry this one does not have a scope while the version 2 has a scope so yeah that's pretty much it I mean you do get some pretty good weapons and yeah that's pretty much it and now we move to the access starting with Germany so you have your Stahlhelm your MP40 Version 2 E2? I don't know, but it's the one with the buttstock. You have your Car 98K and the Luger POA. So, this is the weapon, the nation that changes the most from the version 2. For one thing, the Car 98 essentially replaced the MG34 and the Luger POA replaces the Doll Grenade. And, and as for the MP40, well, it pretty much replaces the the older version which doesn't which doesn't have the bus stock and in my opinion i think this is kind of a downgrade as there's some, like no machine guns or something and the luger is there's it's not really that exciting other than the mp40 with the butt stock so that's pretty much it for the germans we move on to the japanese so you have your type 90 helmet the arisaka the Type 95 Grenade, and the Nambu Pistol. So the only difference from the version 2 is that the Arisaka replaces the Type 100 submachine gun. And other than that, there's not much difference. And yeah, that's pretty much it about this. I mean, I have, I have nothing to say about this. And then you have the Italians, which unlike the Japanese, I have a lot to say. So the first thing is you get your Carcano and the Mob 38, which they are new additions to Brick Arms, and as of right now, they are exclusive to the Brick Arms Battle Pack version 3. So I really do like the addition of the Carcano, as it's great for my World War 1 mock, and the Mob 38 is pretty good. Despite being my favorite, is also one of the most disappointing out of the six because for one thing this helmet is not a 
an M33 helmet. It's actually an SSH40, which is really disappointing because I think Brick Arms could have uh, given a new mold. And also, there is no like pistol or grenade for the Italians, which is really disappointing because they could have created a new mold instead of like slapping a Thompson machine gun or something like that. So yeah, that's pretty much it. So here are the minifigs equipped from their World War II weapons pack, complete with Brick Mania sticker packs, which I will review in the next video. Overall, what do I think about this weapons pack? For one thing, what I like about it is the addition of the Webley Revolver, the Carcano, and the Mop 30A. Which, as of right now, the Mop 30A and the Carcano are exclusive to this weapons pack. Right, but what I don't like about it is the downgrading of the weapons, particularly with the Germans and how uh, Burke Arms handled the Italians. As I think they could have done a lot more than adding just like a, a random weapon and just reusing an existing helmet. So that's pretty much it. So is it worth $14? Yes. So I give this an... 8 out of 10. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and happy Thanksgiving to all you guys living in the United States. Hope you guys have a good turkey dinner or whatever you've been you eat that's not traditional or something. And hope you guys don't fight over politics, which that'll be pretty good. So have a safe Thanksgiving.